Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This is my top five reasons to buy a motorcycle. Starting with number five, the fuel economy on a motorcycle is far greater than that of a car. To give you an idea, this 1200cc Suzuki Bandit averages about six to seven liters per hundred kilometers of fuel consumption. My 1.4 litre Ford Figo, which is fuel injected and has all the electronic gizmos and gadgets to make it more fuel efficient, uses between 8 and 13 litres per 100 kilometres. You're most welcome for walking when you shouldn't. It's okay. Most of the time when you're driving around in your big cage, I mean look at the size of all of these things, man. They're huge. And most of the time, there's only ever one person riding inside a car. So, like, let's be honest, you might as well save the weight, save the planet, save your petrol, and buy a motorbike. Now, I will say, though, that because motorcycles are a much smaller market than cars, unfortunately, motorcycle maintenance and parts are a little bit more expensive than that of cars. But that leads me into my fourth reason why you should buy a motorbike. You see, motorbikes are so easy to work on. My stock toolkit that came with the motorbike can literally do everything I need to do on my motorbike except disassemble the engine. What that means is if I'm stuck on the side of the road due to some small mechanical issue I could use a cable tie as it's fixed, I've got all the tools with me necessary just to do it. If you've got a sports bike, getting to the engine is literally just taking off a few screws to get the fairings off and then suddenly, boom, you have got access to the entire engine. You don't have to remove body panels and all sorts of wonderful things like you do with a car to work on the motorbike. So you could probably get away with doing a lot of the minor maintenance on your motorcycle without needing any specialized tools, although tools do make it a lot easier and then you don't have to spend a cent on labor. Oh, dude, I know you're not from these parts, but please uh, give a little space there. I'd appreciate it. Now the third reason why you should consider buying a motorcycle is because it's basically a free workout, both mentally and physically. So if you're still high on the new year, new me kind of thing, well then let me tell you, riding a motorcycle is so physically demanding that you don't actually realize it. Whether you're riding the twisties and you like full leaned over to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, it is just an absolutely dynamic ride. It's not like sitting in a car where you just turn the steering wheel and the car goes where you want to go. You have to be so in tune with your machine in order to be one with the ride. And I mean, I used to struggle with lower back problems for most of my teenage life. And once I started riding motorcycles and riding motorcycle every single day, I've actually managed to get rid of all of my back problems. I don't feel any tension in my back whatsoever because I'm dynamically working all the muscles in my back, in my core, in my stomach, in my legs, in my arms. I basically get a free workout every single time I ride on the bike. Now you might ask me, but how is riding a motorcycle a mental workout? And let me tell you something, riding a motorcycle is so much more engaging than driving a car, okay? Like not for the safety fact or anything, because you are so dynamically moving with the bike, you and this machine are just one with each other. You already make this mental connection with your motorbike just in order to control it. And then when you add things like traffic and add things like intersections and actual busy roads into the equation, well then you've got to be absolutely alert. And you have to practice things like Dan Dan the Fireman's situational awareness. 
you need to be thinking a hundred meters in front of you, in any car that you see, you're going to be thinking to yourself, what's that oak going to do? What's that guy going to do? Is he just going to stop? Is he going to pull over? Is he going to move? What are the oaks going to do? So you have to work this mental muscle of yours just as much as what you would your physical body and everything else. Now the second reason why you should consider buying a motorcycle is because you get to beat traffic. Yes, beating traffic. This was in fact my number one reason to buy a motorcycle when I bought motorbikes. But I'll get into why that's changed in just a little bit. You see, in South Africa you're allowed to lane split between cars. So that effectively means as long as you're not doing anything reckless, you're allowed to pass between cars and it's not a problem. So when you've got queuing traffic because of this wonderful thing called load shedding, oh my goodness, when all the traffic lights are out because the damn government can't provide power like they're supposed to, well, you don't have to sit like a muggle inside of a car like a pleb and sit in traffic and get all hot and sweaty and burn a shitload of petrol for you to stand still. No, you just fit through the gap and you go. A lot of you guys might turn around and say, oh, but lane splitting is risky, it's dangerous, cars just jump and switch lanes. This goes back to Dan Dan the Fireman's situational awareness is you have to learn to recognize the patterns of the traffic and you will be safe. Traffic people, we're all just creatures of habit. People generally do the same thing that other people do. If you see that the cars are making space, but then if you see that there is space available and there's a car next to the space available, well, there's a good chance the car is going to jump out in front of you. So you got to learn to identify patterns and recognize where and when you're actually at risk. Riding a motorcycle is not actually as dangerous as you think it is. It's up to the discipline of the rider to ensure their own survival. So my number one reason for riding a motorcycle is the sense of freedom that it gives you. Now I didn't think that riding a motorcycle was anything different to driving a car. The only difference is that it's small and you can skip traffic. But let me tell you, nothing in this world beats the feeling of sitting on this metal stallion with two bars in front of you, you know, a life behind bars, just absolutely admiring everything that this world has to offer. You go out and you are literally out in the elements. You feel the wind in your hair, the breeze in your face through your visor. It is just absolutely, undeniably, one of the most freeing feelings in the world. And honestly, nothing, no matter how much my friends spoke about riding motorcycles, or anything like that, would I have believed that it is such an exhilarating experience. I tell you what, it has been so good on my mental health to be able to ride motorcycles every single day. Because literally just being out, being one with nature and absorbing everything that there is around me is just so humbling and incredible. So there you have it folks, I do hope this video inspires you to get out there and get ready for a life behind bars because honestly once you start you're not gonna want to stop it is oh it's incredible man i can't tell you how much fun riding motorcycles are even when you're not hauling ass like that guy that guy looks like he was having a blast of his life please give this video a thumbs up maybe leave a comment down below if you've got any questions related to motorcycling i'd be happy to answer and you can check out my patreon if you want to support this channel i'm bringing some uh, early access videos that way subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell and remember guys life is going to throw a ton of shit at you but whatever it does remember don't look down look ahead and until next time ride safe